coming to the line inside the final 300 meters. What a day out it's been for Tade Pogacar. He's pre-event favorite, also the pre-stage favorite. They all brought what they had to the party, but it wasn't enough to unseat this man, Tade Pogacar, heading to uh, conclude his st second stage success of the week as he arrives into Carpegna to take stage six of Terreno Adriatico. All the sprinters are still there, and Pogaccia goes. Pogaccia, sensing that Ulissi could do no more, has Juan Van Aert on his meal, wheel, and these few hundred meters here as uh, through in his oh, Machu van, van der Poel, Poel dragging the back into contention. <laughs> the man is his first race of the season. Oh, well. Well, space on the left-hand side of the road is congested as Tadej Pogacar releases his second big acceleration, taking with him Alex Adam Baru from uh, the Movistar team. And Juan Van Aert then working with Primoz Roglic on his wheel to shut that move down as Pogacar has got the ability to go again and again and again. But how many efforts has he got in him? This is a massive move by Pogacar. He's just trying to... It's a crash at the back, crash. Half the field there, a third of the field eliminated. Who was caught up in that? Some of the sprinters, perhaps. Anthony Turgis is there. Another Pogacar. attack. <laughs> Pogacar goes again. What a, a sense of the Poggio this is, and animated brilliantly by Yantane Pogaccia. And it's uh, Tane Pogaccia's looking a little bit nervous as the Faye goes for a long one. And uh, Pogaccia's ready to cover that one. Giulio Ciccone straight on the wheel and into third position. The Faye fires the first salvo. Yeah, first salvo from the Faye. The Pogaccia goes though, digs deep. The Ciccone can't respond. take some significant seconds on the line. We're into the final, what, 150 meters or so, as uh, Tane Pogacar has time to look around, wind his way to the line, and he's heading to stage success. The reigning champion is being closed down from behind, but he's gonna have enough in hand to hold it all the way to the line. He gets his arms in the air. Julian Alaphilippe with a job to do to try and stop Tadej Pogacar from taking some significant seconds and he's going to have to get out of the saddle and he's going to have to lead it out. Pogacar's a pretty useful galloper in his own right as indeed is Julian Alaphilippe but Alaphilippe's not going to be able to prevent Tadej Pogacar from taking the top uh, bonus seconds there so perfectly primed uh, situation there for Tadej Pogacar.
Cole goes on the offensive. Chased down immediately by his nemesis, Wout Van Aert. Tadej Pogacar just behind. And then Soren Crow Anderson, the attacker on the climb, uh, is in position. Now, oh! oh. <laughs> what a goes again. There's a millimetre left on the road there for Matej Moric, and he used every single one of them. Yeah.